Thoughtful ways of telling someone they've hurt your feelings. We often encounter uncomfortable or painful circumstances, often stemming from a variety of factors, with heartbreak being a significant one. Occasionally, we unintentionally cause harm to others, and conversely, experience hurt ourselves. When we're on the receiving end, we may hesitate to openly express our emotions, fearing potential judgment from the other party. However, it's crucial to communicate openly about our feelings to maintain a healthy relationship. Effective communication forms the foundation of any healthy relationship. Ignoring situations that have caused us pain could lead to future conflicts. Here are some tips on how to sensitively communicate when someone has hurt your feelings. 1. Sleep it out. If someone has wounded you with their harsh words, consider sleeping on it. Engaging in retaliatory arguments seldom yields positive outcomes. When we're angry, we often utter words we don't truly mean. Taking time to sleep through the conflict can provide clarity on how to mend the relationship and effectively communicate to your partner that their words have caused hurt. 2. Writing helps. Once you've had time to rest and cool down following the argument, you may find that your anger has diminished somewhat. If your partner has struck a sensitive chord and you're still grappling with unresolved feelings, consider expressing yourself through writing. Draft a letter addressing your partner and pour out your unfiltered thoughts onto the page. Whether you choose to send the letter or retain it is entirely up to you. 3. Talk it out. If you opt to address the issue, wait until a day or a few have passed. Approach the conversation when you feel composed and collected. Begin by expressing the significance your partner holds in your life, then gradually transition into discussing the matter at hand. Allow them the opportunity to share their perspective afterward. 4. Listening is the key. Once you've chosen to address the issue, ensure you listen to the other person as well. While you may express your points initially, make an effort to comprehend their perspective too. Recognize that we're all fallible humans prone to errors. Take the time to grasp their viewpoint. However, ultimately, it's up to you to decide how to interpret their explanation. 5. Don't predetermine the outcome. There are occasions when you may feel hurt, anticipating an apology, but the other person may not perceive the situation in the same light. Consequently, it's important not to solely anticipate a favorable outcome. 6. Your life, you decide. Once you've expressed your perspective and heard theirs, it's time to make the final decision. Being hurt by someone, especially someone close, is a harsh reality. Now, you must determine whether to maintain that person's presence in your life. However, refrain from letting anger dictate your decision. Instead, focus on their reaction to your heartfelt expression of feelings. 5 Signs of Sexual Shame and How to Get Rid of It In numerous regions worldwide, sex remains a topic shrouded in taboo, often carrying negative associations. For some, it's perceived primarily as a means of procreation rather than an avenue for pleasure. These prevailing beliefs surrounding a natural physical act contribute to a pervasive sense of shame. Consequently, many individuals come to view sex, their bodies, and their sexual organs in a negative light. Addressing the prevalent thoughts, emotions, and behavioral tendencies linked to sexual shame is crucial. Below, we'll explore six indicators of sexual shame and strategies for overcoming it. 1. Insecurity with the self. According to experts, sexual shame frequently presents itself as a detachment from one's own identity. Research suggests that individuals identifying as women, particularly those uncomfortable with their genital appearance, may encounter significant self-criticism post-sex, as well as feelings of self-consciousness or body insecurity during sexual encounters. 2. Sexual dysfunction and dissatisfaction. In the presence of shame, the natural flow of sexual energy may be hindered, leading to challenges in achieving arousal, excitement, or orgasm. Moreover, shame can impede effective communication with sexual partners, consequently diminishing the pleasure experienced during sexual interactions. 3. Trouble with intimacy and relationships. Shame frequently prompts the construction of barriers, constraints, and boundaries, which can diminish the sense of security and intimacy within relationships. Numerous individuals abstain from dating for extended periods due to the fear of potential repercussions upon reaching a level of sexual intimacy with someone. 4. You're uncomfortable talking about sex. For some individuals, experiencing nervousness or embarrassment when discussing sex is indicative of sexual shame. The usual reaction to shame is to conceal it, yet this only serves to perpetuate its hold. 
Conversely, bringing sexual shame into the open allows it to dissolve more readily. 5. Viewing sex as bad or something that you shouldn't do. Certain individuals grapple with profound feelings of regret and shame immediately following any sexual interaction. Some even harbor shame regarding masturbation, despite its significance as our initial means of connecting with our genitals and experiencing sexual pleasure during childhood. 6. How to get rid of sexual shame. According to experts, the initial step in overcoming sexual shame involves distancing oneself from its origins, whether those are friends, parents, relatives, or media influences. Additionally, therapy, practices of sensual self-care, masturbation, and reading can all contribute to this process. Things men looking for a woman should know. Men can sometimes lack insight when it comes to understanding women. When seeking the ideal partner, men often overlook or disregard women's preferences, which are crucial factors in the dating process. If you're a single man, you're likely familiar with this challenge. Therefore, to assist you in navigating the path to a relationship, here are some key insights to consider when searching for a woman to date. 1. The first time approach. Each woman is unique. A generic pickup line is unlikely to resonate with everyone, particularly if it's cliched or unoriginal. The manner in which you approach a woman holds significant importance as it shapes the initial and enduring impression you make. Individuality is key, no two people are alike. 2. Pre-assumptions. Approach conversations with women without preconceived notions or assumptions about them. Instead, engage in dialogue based on their interests and preferences. Avoid interjecting with statements like, I thought you preferred tall guys, as you may not have truly understood her preferences beforehand. 3. First Impressions Initial impressions are crucial for making a lasting impact on a woman, but if you falter, don't despair. There may still be opportunities to make a positive impression later on, though it's wise to approach the initial encounter with care. You could opt for a lingering kiss or captivate her with your charm, leaving her thoroughly enchanted. 4. Confidence The most effective approach to winning a woman's interest is to exude confidence in your actions and conversations with her. Avoid doubting yourself, as women typically prefer individuals who are assertive and decisive from the outset, steering clear of uncertainty and hesitation. 5. Successful Tries If you consistently face rejection when approaching women, it may indicate areas where you could improve. Your manner of speaking, behavior, and presentation all play a role in shaping your chances with someone you're interested in. Embracing a bit of boldness and experimenting with new approaches, unafraid of rejection, can be beneficial. If you've been hesitant about expressing yourself, it's time to speak up and capture her attention. 6. Dealing with Rejection Finally, if things don't go as planned, handle rejection gracefully. Refrain from interpreting it as a personal slight or negative indicator, as even with your best efforts, the woman may not perceive you as her type or simply may not be interested in pursuing a connection with you. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.